Assalamualaikum, peace be upon you. Good evening from Thailand, everyone. I am Thahir Hussaini, software developer at Art. At Art, we believe creating software have to be fun. By fun, I mean we having fun trying to solve the problems and help someone with our new solutions. Not only at the outcome, but we are happy and having fun with the process of making it too. Because you know, we are living in this world that's everything growing so fast. Every single day, we have new innovations, and every single day. The new problem appears. You just have to be a lifelong learner and stay hungry for the knowledge. You don't know what comes next, and the next technology is changing so rapidly, and something new always come. And technology is everything now, right? It's fashion, it's art, it's magic in your hand, and everyone fully have ideas to use their ideas to positively change the societies. Back to when I was in school. My dad says everything is easier in my ages because when I was when I want something, I just basically search in the internet. And but in his ages, he have to like going to the right bar, seeking from the book or asking from the experts. But it's easier nowadays, right? It's just like it's in the air. You just grab it. And yet at that time, I'm so hungry for knowledge. I'm in love. And I'm so upset with challenges. I accept everything that come to my way. I accept every opportunity. Uh, Sometimes I try to, but trying in a good way. And my mom and my dad are very supportive. They always told me to be a best version of myself. And I'm falling in love with that feeling so much. The feeling that I can solve the problems. The feeling that I know that I'm brave. I'm strong. And I'm outstanding. I never afraid to fall. Never afraid to get in pain. But after I graduated and started working, somehow that sense of the bravery is starting to fade away. I I'm starting to afraid to not being good enough. I'm afraid to like doing new thing. Afraid to try on. Afraid to accept the challenges. And that. I'm start to stop to learn, and I start start to feeling like hold back and stop learning and like accuse to myself that I'm too tired. And I start to create a little space to myself, the space that called a comfort zone. I am afraid it to fall, and then I am afraid to to feel pain. And I avoid it, avoid every opportunity and challenges. But not long after, I realized that the pain is just a response from our nervous systems, and it's just a mechanism of our brain to make us know ourselves better. Like we will know ourselves better when we have pain, right? We will know what pays for us and what we can't or cannot do, and we will know what we really want, and we will know what we kind of what we can set a goal. And the failure teach us to be like not making the same mistake again. And if you not ever feel pain, it means you do nothing. And if you do nothing, it means you're not growing. Like you just have to find who you are. You can't stop finding who you are. Even when you found it, you will find the better version of you again. And don't be afraid to try it out. You just have to look up. And look like to the people in front of you, and seeing it from their perspective, and be authentic, and being different as who you are. You know, even with or without the intentions, we are face everything in our life, and everything in our life that we are facing is the consequences from what we actions in the past. Because you know, when you found some problems and you choose to do nothing, that means you already making decisions. And if you found some problem and you start and you want to run away, and that's what you choose to, and that will cause something in the future. I am always making mistake, a bad decision, choosing choosing what make me in trouble, but that's make me who I am, and I proud of it. I proud of every mistake that I make, that make me learn. That make me be better version of me, right? It's it is all about what you see yourself in the next day, next day, next month, or next 
10 years ahead. It's kind of like you imagine who you become. It's like you're driving pictures and you completed the picture by uh, respond to every little actions that make you achieve your goal, right? And without your cognition, you become more of a better version of you every day. Trying to understand, and you can try to understand understand what's driving you nowadays, and look for the opportunity to use that driving power to yourself. You can just put yourself in a very new environment or the environment that allow you to grow, and you can celebrate every achievement. Maybe it's a small one, right? You can celebrate, it will make you feel better. It will be the source of the power that make you do something better for you more. There's no limits at what can we accomplish. And remember that when you have chance to take, you have chance to give something to. You know, choosing to challenges and choosing what you love is very important. Because when you're happy, you will be allowed what you love. But when you're sad or when you fall, you will fall among what you love to, and you will be inspiring from that. And that the sort of power that kind of inspiring that will give the power to you, it will make you come back again like a phoenix. But you know, if you can't do it now, it's okay because. Uh, we can just make things better in just one night, but it's like a process. Every action is built upon other actions. Again, you just have taking time and it's just like learning every day. I believe that there are a very better version of ourselves around every corner. You just have to stand up and just like walking to find a better version of you every day. Don't be afraid and 